Hi there and welcome to another short video on the features of AKC Pro Server. And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a rack map and add our thermal map sensors to the rack map. So um, here under maps we can just go to add a rack map and we'll call this our um, thermal map rack number one and we can choose the rack map size so this is the number of views that our cabinet is and um, then we can enter parameters here such as the wrap map uh, maximum weight that uh, we can put into this cabinet uh, the maximum amperage load this is all used for our asset tracking and management feature which i, I show in another video um, and then we go to add and you can see here in our rack maps we have a new um, thermal map rack number one show up there and we can drag this into our desktop or we can create a new desktop um, from one of our pre-configured layouts let's say we go for this one here and we'll call this um, thermal map demo and then again we can drag it here into this desktop um, so now we have it here but uh, it's quite empty we've got no assets added and uh, what I'm going to show here is how to add thermal mapping to the cabinet. So I already have a device with a thermal map connected. And so we're going to drag any one of these sensors here. So we'll go for temperature front bottom and we drag it here to the front bottom of the cabinet. And you'll see now it automatically configures everything else for us. So this is the AKCP thermal map sensor, which consists of six um, sensors altogether. You can see here at the front bottom front middle front top and then rear top rear middle rear bottom uh, in this case this is temperature only we also have a temperature humidity version where you can also get um, humidity in the uh, front middle and rear middle as well so each one of these sensors it, you can set an individual threshold and then you see we have animated arrows running front to rear and that's showing us the temperature differential so uh, the temperature differential between the front and the rear of the cabinet. So this is useful. Um, we can make sure that we have cold air coming in. And then we can also make sure that the air coming out at the rear of the cabinet is not um, exceeding our predefined thresholds. So uh, traditionally, if you only have the temperature sensor at the front, then um, you can still get problems because you've got cold air coming in, which is great but maybe one of the fans inside the cabinet or there's a blockage, um, you're not getting sufficient airflow going through. So um, you, you would be able to detect that in this case by having a high temperature differential front to rear. Um, that blockage would mean that you're getting insufficient cooling. So although you have cold air coming in, it's not sufficiently cooling the equipment inside and we have a high temperature differential and a high exhaust temperature. So once you've set this up, um, you can choose to display the temperature differential or not. So we could go to hide temperature differential. That will just give us the temperature sensors at front and rear and turn off the animation. Or we can show it. Um, we can also add assets to, to the rack as well. So we can show assets together with um, the thermal mapping. Um, so I'm just going to jump over to another desktop I already have set up here, which is our... Um, asset tracking desktop and we can add the um, temperature sensor front top to this rack here so now you can see we have our assets and we also have the um, thermal map added to this cabinet if we had a swing handle lock we'd also be able to see the status of the front and rear doors of the cabinet whether they're open or closed um, which is quite a nice feature as well and then we can choose to hide the assets, um, show the assets or hide the differential temperatures. But sometimes it's useful to um, be able to overlay those differential temperatures because, um, for example, we may have a high temperature differential at the top of the cabinet that where the UPS is, um, but that maybe isn't such a concern. But if you have a high temperature differential where your servers are, then that's something to be more worried about. So sometimes it's useful to be able to overlay the assets that you've got inside of the cabinet together with the thermal map to give an overall view of everything that's hap happening there inside of your cabinet. So I hope this has been a useful short tutorial for you. 
Um, you can go over to our website and download AKC Pro Server and play around with it yourself if you have AKCP devices. Uh, it's free to use um, with all AKCP devices. You just have to pay a license fee if you want to integrate um, third-party sensors, virtual sensors via SNMP or third-party um, IP cameras. So I hope you found this useful and um, I'll see you in our next video.